Slimming World's copycat chips is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jody Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you lose some weight. Now today we are talking about these. Now I have, I don't know, shall I use the word fantasize? I have fantasized about Slimming World chips for a long, many, many years. However, I will not pay four quid for a potato. Would it, do you, I don't, I can't believe that there's literally gushes of people running to Iceland to buy four quid Slimming World chips. Well, Aldi have changed that, guys. So these are, for those of you who don't know, Aldi do a lot of copycat and especially all the meals from Aldi, uh, sorry, all the Slimming World meals that are available at Slimming World, uh, they're available at Iceland. Aldi are great at copying cat it and they've copycatted the oven chip. So those of you will recognise this packet, even maybe what they look like as well. They've copycatted everything the same as Slimming World. I'm sure Aldi will be sued by Slimming World in the future. However, for us, the consumer, it's great because these, ladies and gentlemen, are copycat chips. Uh, I'm just boiling some veg. I'm just going to turn that down. Um, so these are vegan so they tick that box as well they are low in saturated fats uh, and as the packet says here satisfying crispy skin on chips with a soft fluffy inside does that make you think mm, smells nice uh, now per 100 grams that is 124 calories so we all know what slimming world is like you have something called free foods this is on the free foods, guys. So if you were on Slimming World, you could literally have the whole bag, just chow down on the whole bag. However, there is 750 grams times 124 calories, which means there's actually about a thousand calories. Now, a lot of my slimmers are only on a thousand calories a day. So if you're on Slimming World and you're wondering why you're not losing weight, the Slimming World chips might have something to do with it. If you do count your calories and you do a more balanced approach to weight loss, then I would recommend Slimming World chips. Uh, there is obviously a way that you can make them at home. Uh, to have a little bit closer look at them, the, good, the other reason I love them as well is because there's only two ingredients in these, potatoes and salt. No oil, nothing like that. I really don't know how the, oh, the stuck a little bit, but yeah, I'm not sure how they haven't stuck. But for some reason, they haven't. Somehow, they've removed the starch a little bit, so that's why they haven't stuck. And they've just just seen whether I can add some, smell some salt. Now, I've never tried these before, so this is my first time trying cinnamon wool chips. You just have a second opinion. You know what? They're actually really good. I don't know what Slimming World are doing to make them taste so good. Obviously, what I could do is make them my own. So a lot of Slimming World members, they, they do, they are told at the classes and the clubs to make their own Slimming World chips because it's literally just potatoes with a little bit of salt. Margaret's watching. I know Margaret does Slimming World. Have you made these yourself before, Margaret? Do they stick to the pan? Do they taste as good as these? I've got a feeling it's something to do with the chip. I think they must be Mary's Piper. You know, one of the really more upper class, expensive chips. Maybe that's why... They don't stick. If you did this with white potatoes, maybe they would stick. So I'm thinking it's something to do with the quality. Uh, if you are on a low carb diet, so if you're doing, for instance, keto, you could have a very, very few. Per 100 grams, that is 26. I think it's 26. Let me have a closer look. Uh, 26 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams. So Sarah, who I know is doing keto, 
you could basically have 200 grams of this and that will be your carbs for the day but you're still having chips and you're still enjoying it so as i said these are from aldi they are copycats and they are just $1.99 opposed to $3.99, which is how much the real ones are in uh, Iceland, which are the Slimen variety. Uh, as I said, they are vegan approved. Uh, and obviously, if you want to make your own, if you've got time, get yourself a potato, slice it up, add a little bit of salt. Right, that's it from me. I'm now off to enjoy my lunch. I've got some roast cauliflower and broccoli. I'm having my chips. I'm having some uh, frozen veg got no fresh stuff in uh, and I'm also having a bean casserole with that to get my protein in uh, Margaret's saying she's not tried them she makes her own and that of course is a thumbs up cost wise nutrition wise planet wise home cooking is of course the best so well done Margaret over and out guys